Hi guys, today in this episode I will start to show you guys what was in the boxes what uh, Mr. Santa Claus just dropped uh, to my studio. <sighs> the first item is this really cute and small, really special mini converter uh, from the Blackmagic uh, design and this is the audio to SDI 4K uh, mini converter. Audio to SDI and 4K with money inputs and money outputs, okay, and dip switches. With this you can insert your analog or digital audio signal into your SDI video data stream. So when this uh, gray box is really uh, helpful, when you want to record a multiple audio channel among with your video stream. And there is many options on a market, you can buy field recorders with uh, 2, 4, 6, 8 or 16 channel, or you can use your multiple cameras to record uh, multiple audio channels and later on you can mix them together in the post-production software. But uh, <laughs> this kind of workflow has a big 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 uh, uh, drawback. One is the audio and the video synchronization between the channels. So let's say one of your camera is recording a stereo signal, okay? Uh, your other camera is recording the other pair of stereo signal and your third camera is recording the other pair of stereo signal. And top of it you have a multi-channel field recorder where you're recording, let's say, um, for microphone. Later on in a post-production <laughs> you will face with, uh, with a big work, eh? because you have to synchronize all of these audio channels and all of these video channels together. Eh? <laughs> you get confused. <laughs> this mini converter um, can insert eight digital audio channel into the SDI video stream or to embed other let's say eight or four uh, channel from the inputs of this uh, small box. Maybe you get confused when I said you can uh, insert digital or analog audio because we don't see here ASCBU or any optical or SPDF uh, digital audio inputs. They utilized the 6.3 millimeter jack input as an analog balanced input or balanced ASCBU input. And on the side where you see these uh, deep switches you can choose between the two protocol. But what you cannot do with this uh, puppy, you cannot mix these two audio protocol together. But maybe you can figure out this from the back side of the unit, okay, here in this line, which is the eighth, the whole system will run on analog or on digital. I don't know why the Blackmagic design did like this, but it can be nice if we can mix up uh, these two uh, main audio protocol. On the end I choose the analog way and let me explain to you why. With the analog signals, if you have some kind of connection problem, so for example one of your connector is uh, rusty or get dust or something, uh, maximum you can get noises. Eh? But this kind of noises, it's like, uh, like momentary. But if you have a digital audio signal, and you have some kind of connection problem between the two unit, of course the digital audio signal will be completely muted, so you don't have any kind of solution on a post-production to fix the audio because the audio will be not there at all. The other big issue with the digital audio signals is the sampling rate and the clock. So if one of your digital audio source has some kind of clock issues, it's true on a whole line. So then of course this can cause a lot of problem on somewhere else on the end of your studio or end of your stage. And this is the reason why I prefer to use analog uh, inputs on this device. But if you have only one digital mixer with no uh, outboard uh, clock source and with a really short uh, digital audio cable, 
on the right side of uh, your mixer, let's say with a uh, half meter of uh, ASCBU cable, then it's okay. Because with this you will get eight uh, uh, digital audio channel, what you can insert into your uh, SDI video um, stream. Let me show you the other connectors, what you can find on this side. The first one is the power input. Uh, um, I'm not 100% sure if you can use the USB to power the device. This part of the user manual is, is not so clear, so <laughs> I suggest you to use only the 12 volt uh, input. By the way, you will get a really nice uh, power adapter uh, with the unit, which is UL listed. Eh? <laughs> the next connector is the SDI input. Even if it's 4K, okay, but it's not supporting the 4K 60p, or if you are using a normal Ultra HD video standard, you can go up to uh, 30p. All the rest of the standards is absolutely supported, so this SDI video input will switch automatically between the standards, so uh, there is no other additional dip switches uh, around uh, the video standards. And, by the way, this will not do for you uh, upscaling or downscaling or any kind of uh, video uh, standard conversion. This has to be done before or after. The next connector is a really weird connector because this is an alternative SDI input. So what is mean? In a pro video industry, <laughs> uh, you cannot rely only on one SDI cable. So this is kind of a safety feature, so if any kind of problem you have on a primary SDI input, then this uh, small device will automatically switch to the alternative SDI input. And this one is the SDI output, which is containing all the additional embedded inserted audio channels. We have another really nice uh, feature in this uh, puppy which is the audio sample rate converter. Okay, but why I need this really special mini converter in my home recording studio? The answer is really simple. I get tired <laughs> from importing many different video files from all of my cameras and importing audio files from my field recorder and from my DAW software and from the screen recorder software, whatever. On the end, I decided to utilize a video switcher and a dedicated video recorder. But unfortunately, the Blackmagic Design video switchers... Ta -da! This is when this really cute uh, mini converter, it came to the picture. To understand the full situation, let me show you a chart of this new system. Uh, I just drop here a uh, few cameras and one uh, computer and uh, the mixer and my uh, microphone preamplifier. But in a real life, maybe this seventh SDI input is free. The audio signals here, it's irrelevant uh, to the whole workflow. Because now everything is happening here in the mixer, okay, and inside in this mini converter. My microphone is connected to this uh, mic preamp, which is in a real life is a art uh, voice channel. From that, one channel, which is digital audio signal, is going into the LV1 digital mixer. The other analog signal is came directly into this audio to SDI 4K mini converter. So, in a mixer, of course, I can mix up uh, the sound of the softwares, uh, sound of the synthesizers and the sequencers and whatever. From the mixer, I send two channels of audio, which is the main mix, into the video switcher XLR inputs. But with the secondary output from my mixer, I have a lot of freedom to send different kind of audio signals into the mini converter. For example, a Q mix or group uh, mix uh, buses or, or direct output from the inputs. Everything is dependent, of course, on the video, what I wanna do. So this gives me a lot of freedom and a lot of option to do many, many, many tricks on the audio field and also on a video field. With this solution, at the end, I will get only one video file with all the additional audio channels. So, <laughs> no more SD card from here, no more SD card, no more SD card, no more video file from the screen recorder, and no more WAV5 
from my DAW software or from my field recorder. <laughs> now is the time to insert this uh, mini converter into my video switching and recording solution. This cable here is the SDI output from the video switcher and this one is the SDI input of the video recorder. Let me broke this line and uh, connect the SDI output of my video switcher to the SDI input. Then connect uh, the SDI input of my recorder to the SDI output. This cable is the balanced audio output of my Artwatch channel. So this one came here and this two cable here is the balanced audio output from my LV1 digital mixer. So let's uh, connect it to here and to here and we need a power source. So let me, you know what, let me disconnect the SDI input and let's see what's going on with the indicators. Mm. Ah, okay, so if the main SDI input is disconnected, then there is no indication on the output. Let me try this alternative SDI input. Okay. Ah, there is some kind of indication. If the mini converter is not receiving data from the main SDI input, then the output is blinking. Ah, nice. Okay, let's connect back to the main SDI input and then, ta-da, everything is okay. The switching time, it's about half second or I think it's around one frame or two frame. Recorder. <laughs> that was easy and pack. <laughs> nice. And for the full demonstration, let me switch on uh, one of my synthesizers. And uh, let's uh, play. And now I will switch to the video recorder in a post-production. Oh, I just forgot my microphone. <laughs> this one here is my uh, speech. This channel is already going on an analog way from the Artwatch channel directly into the mini converter. This one is the channel strip of the Yamaha CS6R synthesizer. This main mix bus at the moment is rooted to money away from my LV1 mixer, but uh, I have uh, one interface which is sitting really close uh, to my uh, video recorder equipment. And from this boxy, the main stereo mix uh, channels that are rooted uh, to the analog output one and two. So this is the left and this is the right. But we have here another output from the group one. Let me show you where is it. So this one here. So the group one is rooted to the output of five and six. And this two output is connected to the channel seven and channel eight in the mini converter. Okay, let's go back to the channel strip and we move up this fader. Mm, let's say up to here. Then now the signal is going to the main output mix bus. But what's going on with the group? At the moment, I switched off. But if I switching on, then this audio signal will go to the main mix bus and also to the group one mix bus. <laughs> uh, sorry guys for this really ugly sequence, but uh, this, is <laughs> this is what it is. So now, this sound from the CS6R sequencer and everything which is happening on the group one is going to the output of the STG2412 uh, interface on the channel five and the channel six. And this is the signal what we will see in the Premiere Pro. So we have three signal at the end. We have the master, okay? Then we have uh, the group one, and we have my microphone. Uh, really nice. So let me show you the big difference. It is the premiere. In a post-production, of course, I can cut uh, the video as I want, 
Then I can drop, uh, let's say from here, only the stereo mix bus, yeah? I can uh, drop uh, the synthesizer sound from this section, and that's it. But everything is stay synchronized together. Let me drop it here. And of course I can do it without any kind of issue or any kind of problem. Or, or simply I can pre-cut everything based on the main mixes, yeah, here. So I can uh, mute uh, these uh, additional channels. Tak, tak. Mute, 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 mute. And I still can hear everything what's going on on a main mix channel. So this is like a, mm, a preview mix of the final video, because on a mixer, of course, I can set up everything as should be. But the main good is, is still this. So it doesn't matter what I'm doing in the uh, video post-production software, all of my audio and video will still sync it together, yeah? And this is, a, this is a really big difference. On the end, this mini converter from the Blackmagic design can save you a lot of time. A hell of a lot of time. And don't forget, you still can use the SD cards or whatever media you have inside in your cameras. Hmm? I think this audio to SDI 4K mini converter from the Blackmagic Design. This is a really nice product for this price. It's about 260 something euro. And uh, it's, it, it's fully packed with uh, professional features. So balanced audio inputs, ASCBU digital inputs, and even you get other kind of uh, control software where you can control the input uh, sensitivity, or even you can control the uh, signal level of the digital audio. And uh, I think uh, this is a really great and really professional unit. So we can say in this case, the size is not everything. Eh? <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed. See you next time. Bye.